Welcome to the channel. In this series of videos, I'll show you the basic functions in Bamboo Studio. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the printer selection button. In this video, uh, Bamboo Studio is currently on version 1.8.4.51. In the future, there may be some changes or additions to the features. I'll cover any major changes in the future video. However, the feature function should remain the same. This is episode one, printer selection. So if you don't already know, you don't have to have a Bamboo Lab printer to use Bamboo Studio. Your non-Bamboo printer may already be listed as one of the 49-ish printers or profiles listed. And if it's not, you can put your printer's information in there and save it. Either way, it's pretty easy. So let's explore how to add a Bamboo Lab printer profile first. Uh, step one is you're going to open up Bamboo Studio. It's going to bring you to a page that shows some models from Maker World and also any recently opened files that you've been working on. So you're going to click up in the upper left-hand corner, New Project. And it'll take us to this screen that you're seeing right now. Um, now, to add a printer to Bamboo Studio, you're going to click the gear wheel that is right up at the upper left-hand corner here. Uh, you'll see it on your screen listed just under where device is. When you do that, it's going to bring up this. So here's the gear wheel right here. Um, and this is the printer selection window as it, as it appears. Uh, if I scroll down here, it's going to show the Bamboo Lab P1S with a 0.4 nozzle. That's the printer that I have. So if that's the only printer that I had, you just click confirm and it'll load that profile for you. Uh, as you can see here on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, I already have that listed. Uh, but I also have a Ender 3 and my son has an Anacubic Cobra 2. So if we scroll down, uh, there's Anchor Make, there's Anacubic, there's like I said, there's 49 other uh, models that are on here. Uh, there's the Cobra 2 with a 0.4 nozzle. And as, as we go down here, the Creality Ender 3 V2 is listed as well. So with those three listed, just click Confirm, and that will load those profiles, already made profiles, into Bamboo Studio. It'll show all three of my, the printers that I have here underneath this dropdown. Uh, if it, if you're trying to do one of the printers that is not listed, you're going to go right here to the bottom where it says create printer, and you're going to select that. Um, that in itself is going to bring up a drop down right here. Uh, you're going to create the printer, and then you're going to go under the uh, printer name, and you're just going to select that. And they have a whole list of different makers that are on here. Um, let's just say it's a Prusa. Uh, you can go and you can select the whatever one that they have there. And uh, um, if they, you can't find it or you built your own, you can always just click can't find my printer now, name and you can put in your custom ones here. Uh, you're going to then put in your nozzle size, your bed shape, the printable space, uh, where the origin is, and if you even have a, um, an STL of the uh, hotbed or an SVG of the hotbed, you can load those images here and go ahead and click OK. So that's how you add a printer to Bamboo Studio. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes of the Bamboo Studio Quick Clicks and drop a like and a comment if you would. I'd appreciate it. Until then, have a great day.